thinking about his mother's attempts to control everything related to her royal highness, the Princess of Asturias. The truth is that Leonor increasingly is a free verse, a person who expresses her personality far from her mother's control, which has been, let's say, strict not going. It has been truly distressing since her earliest childhood, and the truth is that since she's in Zaragoza, Leonor breathes a little easier, seeing that she can do things more in line with her age. However, certain rumors are generated, um, so to speak, comments like the information that Monarquia Confidential gave us weeks ago. Basically, they told us that King Felipe has advised his eldest daughter to be more cautious, to have a little more self-control in her nightly outings, especially so that the media don't catch her. And don't make headlines like Leonor drinks too much alcohol, she likes to stay out until the early hours of the morning in nightclubs, or she simply does exactly what she wants, but to be a bit more discreet, not to leak to the media, probably telling her I did it too, and people didn't find out as much. Nowadays, however, there is a small complication, a big obstacle, and it's that you don't need a journalist, a news agency, or a curious person around. Simply, social media can viralize images, which is precisely what bothered Felipe and Letizia the most. What exactly happened? Well, the story has repeated itself a bit, and things have even gotten a bit worse. As we see, tranquility doesn't last in the Spanish royal family. It is true that we already have Doña Sofia, and a picture is worth a thousand words. Recovered leaving the hospital, and, well, she was walking on her own, waving that is zero distress and zero concern. In that sense, beyond the striking fact that King Felipe went alone first without the company of his wife. And the truth is that not only do scandals take a toll on Leonor with her parents, but also with others. A media outlet says that with young people and those around her, Leonor likes to go to the trendiest nightclubs in Zaragoza more, so to speak, the ones in fashion in Madrid, and some striking incidents have already occurred. It was even said one day that the police, well, the bodyguards accompanying Leonor, didn't let people into the bathroom when she was inside, which created a bad atmosphere, and even requested that they not record, they took away their phones, and things have escalated a bit further. Basically, what the media suggests is that Leonor has been booed for a late-night rampage that even forced the escort to intervene. At the same time, this media outlet uncovered information that, I believe, is not backed by any type of poll, any type of study, absolutely nothing. And it's that they say that, although Leonor has improved compared to her parents, it is truly evident that she is the person who most supports, so to speak, Spanish society. I think she will probably do it with her grandmother, the Queen Emeritus. The truth is that the royal house is working hard to build a figure of Leonor that is really liked by the people. What happens? That Leonor, they say, is admired by this media outlet. It catches my attention for the older Spanish generations, but that the new ones, this Leonor mania that the media has been talking about for several months now, is not true, that the truth is that those who are closest to Leonor in age, either older or younger, don't like the firstborn and future heir to the throne too much. So much so that they say those, and they say it, not me, who will have to endure Leonor's reign, are the ones who support the princess the least. Beyond all that, they say that they see her too haughty. Why exactly? Well, they say that beyond that angelic smile, that Leonor has, it's not really true, that she's a bit haughty, a bit conceited, and that perhaps sometimes she thinks a bit too much of herself, when she really is because I believe she will be the queen of this country if no one stops her, what happens? Well, this is generating, they say, animosity among the new generations, and it doesn't end there because they say that up close, the princess thinks herself more than anyone else, and this has already brought her problems. With young people her age in the past, especially, they say, on those nights when she decides to go out and when some conflicts have arisen. Conflicts that have gone further than we imagined, because they say that Leonor has even been reprimanded, booed by those present in entertainment venues. 
There have even been, well, out-of-control situations with the bodyguards because the excessive control they wanted to have to prevent compromising images from being leaked has even led to bag searches, mobile phones being confiscated to avoid any type of photographic leak. And all this has happened usually in the bathroom area, where even the bodyguards have had to intervene to calm things down, something we more or less knew, but we had never been told that she had been reprimanded, that they had generated moments of tension, and that Leonor had even been booed. This is information that is logically very important to consider, because what they tell us is serious. Surely, if nighttime outings worried Felipe and Letizia, the fact that incidents are already happening and especially that they end up being leaked to the press and that television studios are talking long hours about this is something that must worry the monarchy, as it must worry the monarchy a lot. The fact of the latest information we are receiving regarding health. Look when it seemed that Queen Sophia was okay because it was also said that Sophia was frankly unwell, that even the infant who had told her children that in Felipe's case because he was out of Spain, he should return from Abu Dhabi to Spain because things were bad. Finally, we have seen that no, at least in appearance. As I say, she walked out on her own. What happens? Well, this same media outlet strikes again. I don't know if it's dedicated to killing the healthy or generating news out of nothing. But they say Juan Carlos I confirms the worst medical diagnosis to his three children in Madrid. Well, we know that King Felipe VI has been very close to Juan Carlos I, that they have even had lunch with Leonor and Sofia, with their granddaughters, who, contrary to usual, have gathered at Zerzuela, saying everything positive, everything nice, everything really emotional. Why? Well, some point out that it has been Juan Carlos' physical deterioration that has made Felipe realize that he was also doing things wrong with his father. Perhaps that alleged estrangement that exists with Letizia has led to all this, because we know that Letizia controlling, imposing, and distancing the Bourbons is practically what she has been doing for the last time, and practically, we could say, almost during the last decade. But beyond all that, basically they tell us that both Felipe and Alina and Christina have received an informative update regarding Juan Carlos' health. First, and they practically told them, the former king told them the following, that he is very deteriorated, that his health condition, well, is not good, that recent diagnoses and checkups have been made, and that in the last one, he received information, well, not too positive. She is an elderly person, as we all know, and also they say that she is in a final stretch, where everything is inevitable, and that it is impossible for her to regain mobility. Well, basically, and this is sad and delicate, because any person likes to have a certain dignity, and above all a certain independence. We already see her. Well, she needs a cane. She needs someone to help her, but more or less and with steps, perhaps not too stable or too accurate. Well, Juan Carlos manages, therefore, to walk, which is not bad. Well, in this sense, this media outlet says that it is impossible for Juan Carlos' eye to regain mobility, that he will remain bedridden or inevitably in a wheelchair, and that it has already become his inseparable friend. That is to say that beyond the fact that Juan Carlos wants to get out of the cars more or less walk on his own, the reality is different and the latest information he has received from those doctors is not the best, far from it.